Scorched Earth, Day 50 to 100. If you haven't seen the first part, go check it out. If you have, you're in the right place, and it begins now on Day 100. Fire! Keep fighting! Oh, you weren't meant to see that. Let's go back to Day 50. After the sadness of Day 50, realising we couldn't complete the Manticore yet, a Pago had to come along and just make it worse. But after that I realised that my Rexes probably weren't actually good enough yet to fight the Manticore, so I took him Death Worm Hunting. The first one didn't work, just, just didn't hit it. The second one I had to fight alone for a while until my Rexes got it in their thick skulls that I was being attacked by a dinosaur eating Death Worm. Why aren't you helping? Why? Why? Finally, one of you, thank you. And by day 51, we arrive back at the Green Obelisk. Now yes, the screen is zoomed in a bit for the next minute or two. OBS is a bitch. But I lined up all the Rexes, nice and neatly, you know. R really put time and effort into it so it looks good. And then they all moved by attacking something. No, why? <sighs> I give up on making you guys neat, stay like that. By that point I was done with them, Rex is so stupid, I left them, went out, found a yellow drop and it had an ascendant flame thrown in it which was insane, and then when waiting for the next drop I just sniped some Jaboas out of frustration of the Rexes from earlier. By day 52 I ventured over to my previously set up turrets in the Wyvern Scar for Wyvern Talons to obviously do the Manticore. Now they were all set up and ready, so I shot a lightning Wyvern, got on my Archie and flew away as fast as I could. Which isn't very fast on these guys. I really wish you guys could go faster. But once we made it, I let the turrets do the handiwork, and they really shredded through this guy. I took the talon out of his inventory, did it to another fire wyvern, took his talon. This was going quite easy. And then I did it to a lightning wyvern, but he didn't quite make the landing. Oh, I'm dying, Jesus. <laughs> So I dove down into the depths of his home, got his talon, and headed back for the day. Before my drop, I found this cluster grenade, and never used one of these before, so I threw it at this Morella tops. Yeah, th that's pretty cool to be fair. Day 53 began with me naming every single one of my Rexes, so I had a bit more of an emotional attachment to them. I fought more Death Worms for levels and Black Pearls. This carried on until day 54, where I decided I was going to put the Rexes around the Obelisk again in a nice circle. I just hope nothing attacks them. After that, I used Parry the Parasol to get lots of Narco Berries and Tinto Berries to make Med Brews. These are just essential for anything, especially boss fights. But it's not just me that needs healing. I sat on my daredon for the rest of the day healing my Rexes because they could not go into the boss fight damaged. Long story short, ladies and gentlemen, I left my game on for about 5 days, thought it was a waste, tried to roll back the save by deleting the new one, didn't work, deleted everything, so I'm rebuilding my world, but don't worry, I'm not giving myself any advantage, I'll have less stuff than before. Just wanted to clarify, let's get straight back into the video. But what's that? Our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Stop exactly what you're doing right now. Have you ever wanted to be sitting on the toilet, sitting anywhere you want in the world, and fight waves and waves of enemies, and fight huge bosses? Well, if you haven't played Raid yet, then I'm not actually sure what you're doing, but it's an awesome iOS, Android, and PC game with a full campaign and endless content. My favourite part about the game is the champions. They have insane graphics and awesome character design. There isn't a champion you won't like. And I have a boss spotlight for you, and today it's the guardian of the Voidkeeper, Malak Kavar. Once in the light, then turn to darkness. This guy can deal poison damage to your entire team. So bring strong characters with shield buffs, or you're doomed. But Raid has just released a huge new Doom Tower update with two new huge bosses, one of them being Bommel the Dreadhorn. Yet yeah, this guy is terrifying. But this whole month is packed with awesome events and tournaments, one being Super Raids, which gives you double your rewards from hitting dungeons and massively speed up your progress. And if you want an even bigger advantage to everyone else in Raid, only exclusive to me, click the top link in the description for the next 30 days, you'll get a free champion, which excels in the new Doom Tower update, a free energy refill, a free XP boost, 200,000 free silver, and a free Ancient Shard, which gives you another champion for free. What are you waiting for? Go click the link. 
You can also find me at the username OculusWorks, it'll be on the screen here, and if you're quick enough, you may be able to join my clan and we can do raids together. Thanks again to our epic sponsors at Raid Shadow Legends. Day 56, the day of the boss fight. It's happening now. We have everything we need. Here's all our exes' names so you can have an emotional attachment to them in case they die. Let's get straight into this. Oh god, okay. Okay, we're actually doing this now. Oh, I, oh, oh god. I don't want all of these guys to die. Okay, okay, dead on, dead on, oh no, where is it? Okay, passive healing, passive healing. Put, oh my god, oh Lorexis, please move out of the way. Oh no, 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 it's coming. Get on the UD. Oh, it's attacking. <laughs> Let's take this nice and easily, we don't want any casualties. But Rexis, please hurry up, I'm gonna need you. Attack, please, please attack everyone. Let's go, we're actually working, we're doing damage, we might actually have a chance, but please keep fighting. Oh no, oh god, my torpor's going up, my health is already down, Jesus. Keep fighting, just keep hitting, please. <laughs> oh, we're doing a fair amount of damage, actually. Oh god, the death worms are coming out now. Ah, uh, uh, now we gotta look back to them, we're good. Yes, we got a cornered. Attack! Attack! We're so close! Oh god, the rock columns are out! Yes! Oh yes! Oh, oh yes! Oh, that's awesome! Oh my god, we didn't actually lose anyone! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, I am not resorting these Rexes into another goddamn circle. Whoa! Jeez! Why are Capros so aggressive? Oh my god. Another reward for that fight was unlocking this really cool Manticore Shield skin, and I can't wait to unlock the rest of this armor set. But if you want to unlock the way to my heart, you should click that subscribe button and see if it turns grey. Day 57, I somehow forgot to click record, but what happened is I got a level 16 poison wyvern egg. Yeah, it's not good, but it'll do. Why are Argentavis is so slow? Once I arrived back at base on day 58, I placed down the poison wyvern egg. Now, I didn't have enough air conditioners, so I gathered some silica bulbs, and then crafted some electronics, and then crafted two more air conditioners. Bish. Bosh. Oh, let's go. Isn't it terrifying how the first thing this baby wyvern will see when it comes into the world is this monstrosity? Yo, it hatched. Follow me, my minions. Parkour. On day 59, I got an Ascendant Morella top saddle, the first to many over the next 50 days as my old collection got destroyed but we are starting again back strong. After that, I headed for the south cave and did the normal caving things. On day 60, after dropping off the artifact, I headed to the central cave to do more caving. After dropping off the artifact, I headed back to the Wyvern Scar. Now, I needed the talents and better eggs because this poison wyvern was not cutting it. If you want to know his name, by the way, it's Pee Pee. Ooh, ooh, 
but that's a bit better than my one now. Oh, yes, fire! And my wyvern army grows bigger. Please be high, please be high level. Come on. 152, let's go! Alright, lightning, come on, be high. 28, oh. I, I mean, it's always good to have a lightning weapon, but eh, eh. This creation's just too powerful. Takes out anything, even the alphas. After being really happy with that level 152 fire wiving, I headed to the north cave. But as you can tell on my hotbar, I didn't really bring enough med brews because it's super hot in that cave and I bang like under 10. So as you can tell, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. Whoa, I did not see him there. How did I not notice that? I, I, I'm rather gonna use the Rex for this. Nom 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 nom. I can be God again. Holy sh! The Rex, his head got in the way. No, that was so close to death. Oh no, my desert armor's broken too. Ah. Oh. One eternity later. Finally. I'm in a tent because I forgot to bring med brews. Sitting in a tent in a cave's really boring for the third time. But at least I can make it rhyme. As you can tell by this point, I was slowly going crazy at the fact I didn't bring med brews and I had to keep sitting in tents to heal my health as it was so hot in there, especially with no desert armor. Sheesh! After that insane drop, I picked up a Phylacolio. The first time I mentioned that, I called it a Phylaco, and you guys did not like me in the comments, so it's a Phylacolio. I, I forgot I actually had it in my Poison Wyvern, but I landed and thought I might as well knock it out, it's level like 92. I missed every single shot for ages, like I wasted like 15 tranks, I don't know how I was that bad at aiming. But once I knocked it out, I put some cooked meat in, and we have another decent land dino now. And once I got back from knocking out the Phylacolio, the lightning wyvern had hatched. The reason I did this one first instead of the fire one is to make sure my baby growing stats were all good so I could make sure it's all fully imprinted and all goes smoothly. On the early hours of day 63, my lightning wyvern had finished growing. Yeah, my stats are a bit too high, I had to turn them down after this. But although this is a low level, it still kicks ass. Like, the damage it does from its lightning is insane. That last clip, uh, it had to be done, but my level 152 fire wyvern is stuck in one of the air conditioners, so I had to waste resources by destroying it, and the only reason I did do it is because it is super high level, but it's still very annoying, so he better prove himself worthy. But while he raised, I went out drop hunting on my lightning wyvern and found another lightning wyvern in the middle of the map, nowhere near the wyvern scar, which is kind of strange, but it was a nice and easy kill, and it was another lightning talent to add to the collection. Jaffa Cake and Tesla. And Dean? Later on in the day, I forgot I actually had the Phylacolio taming. Luckily, it had enough food and enough torpor that it didn't wake up and it was all tamed by the time I got it. Excuse me, people. What the hell is going on here? Goddamn Listro orgy. Don't you look at me like that, you filthy animals. On day 64, I 100% imprinted Jaffa Gig, collected quite a lot of crystal, collected quite a lot of metal, and finished the day off by getting a lovely Morella Top saddle. Due to me collecting so many of these outside my base, I have its own storage container just for Morella Top Saddle and we'll see how many we get by the end of the 100 days. Ooh, nice. Now for all of day 65, I was slaughtering wyverns in their home to get their talons. Possibly scaring for eggs if there was any really high level ones, but I didn't need them anymore. It was mainly for the talons so I could do the beta manticore. I'm not gonna lie, while doing that I felt very cool and powerful just taking a bite from the wyvern and blasting it with my shotgun. It was super unnecessary, super dangerous, but it felt cool. 
I also found a level 100 Lightning Wyvern, which if I leveled up enough would become bad in Jaffa Cake for the sole fact he's Lightning, but I really don't know how bothered I can be to do that and I'll probably just stick with Jaffa Cake for the rest of the series. The next day I returned home with all the Wyvern talents that I need for the Beta Manticore, and then while raising my Lightning Wyvern a Sandstorm hit and I was trying to sort out the Rexes, and something hit them, they weren't on passive, they all moved and I was actually done this time with circling Rexes, they could stay in a big heap, as long as they're in the obelisk it's fine. At the beginning of day 68 I started the Beta Manticore boss fight. Alright, let's do this boys! After quite easily defeating the Beta Manticore, I got these really cool armor skins and I can't wait to unlock the full set after beating the Alpha, but now we have enough element to build a tech replicator, so that is the goal over the next few days to farm black pearls and metal and polymer. Still not as good as Jaffa Cake though. On the beginning of day 70, my meta run was interrupted by a very annoying Deodon. And then later on, I farmed their resources to make protection for my Rexes. Well, not really protection, more a place to stay with gates, so it looks a bit nicer and they're not all huddled around the obelisks, but yes, I guess you could call it protection for these boss-killing Rexes. Voila, home sweet home for you Rexes. And then I was just sick to death of Micro Raptors, so I tried to beat one to death, didn't work, so I put it out, nice and easy, blew its brains right out of its head. Jesus, just go away, I hate you so much. Now that is exactly what you deserved. On day 71 I realised to craft the tech replicator I couldn't just use normal polymer as there wasn't enough slots so I had to craft lots of hard polymer which is quite annoying because this thing after I made it is really expensive but it's going to be worth it and I built a platform next to my industrial forge so it can go there as it's very very big but I'm very happy with the progress going so far. Day 72, I farm black pearls from death farms by killing the Virexes. It's not interesting, watching paint dry is more interesting to be fair, so enjoy this picture. So I finally had enough resources to craft my tech leggings, and I did so. And these things look pretty cool, a bit out of place with my knight's armor, but you know what, it would do. And I went to go test these bad boy out, because I'd never really used tech before. Alright, that, let's see what it looks like, oh god Jesus I look like a hobo, let's put that back on. Oh god, I need a haircut, but but the leggings are cool, the leggings are cool. Zoom! Oh jeez. Wow, these can go fast. As you can tell, I was very surprised. Like, I didn't think they would go that quickly, and they're really awesome, but I'm not going to use them for now. I'm going to save them till I have all the tech stuff I can make and use it all in one go, and it'll be awesome. But that is very cool, being able to just run at the speed of light. Well, this is fun. On day 74, I headed to the Wyvern Scar. Yeah, again, we've been here a lot. 
but somewhere you can be is the Discord. It'll be in the link in the description, check it out after the video, you can talk to the community. But before taking on all the Wyverns, I ate an egg in front of all of them just to show my dominance that an egg bigger than me, I can eat. And then I just made their lives misery for the next few days. Day 77, I was super thirsty, and the closest source of water was cave juice from the North Cave, so I went in and had some of that. But when I came back out, there was a rock golem. So I was like, oh, I got a rock golem, I might as well be god again. Yeah, I didn't realise how much more health they had to rubble golems, and I just wasted all my rockets, and he was a very strong boy, so I just left, grabbed the artifact, and then headed home. On day 78, I attempted to try tame a mantis with no bug repellent and just wearing gilly. Okay, just ignore me. I'm just gonna shove a doll. No, no. Okay, this did not work. No. <laughs> Run! Ah! After that, I went to the south cave to get that artifact, and then I did the same for the central cave. Is anyone else finding these a little bit boring now? And just to top it all off, there was the sandstorm on the way back, so it took a very long time just to arrive home even though I wasn't that far away. Day 79, I crafted some stimulants before starting the alpha boss fight. Yes, we're doing the alpha on day 79. You've already seen the other two, I'll make this boss fight short and sweet. But, day 100 is gonna be a banger, it's gonna be insane. That's why I'm not saving this for day 100, because I'm doing something even better. Easy dubs. My armor set is finally complete and I think it looks pretty awesome. I like that they added this to the manticore, like how you can unlock the skins because it's cool as hell. But for the rest of the day, I just found black pearls for tech gear. Day 81, I carried on looking for black pearls by killing death bombs, but I was really thirsty and didn't have any water on me so I went to look for some. And on my way back I kinda lost my rexes for a while because the desert is quite big. But eventually I found them and carried on the search. <gasps> there you guys are, finally, I've been looking everywhere. I bet you can't guess what we're doing on day 82. Yeah, we carried on farming black pearls, but not for the whole day. Towards the end, we did set off on our venture to get a Tapajira. Don't know if I said that right, don't kill me in the comments. Because I want a tech saddle so I can fly around in the sky and go pew pew pew. On day 83, I find this really nice flak helmet blueprint, which is always nice. And then I knocked out the first tappy I saw. It was quite low level, but it knocked out really quickly, tamed really quickly, so it will do for now. But shortly after that, I found a much higher level tappy, so I was like, I gotta get this. I cleared out the surrounding area, did an MLG bowler, like it was actually pretty insane. Knocked it out and named it Trapezium, because that's an easier name than Tappy Jar, Tappy Jar, Tappy Jar. Day 84, I crafted that flak BP I got yesterday, and then I went to go tame a Morellatops. I didn't care about the level, I just wanted one since mine died in the last video. And then I realised, halfway through taming it, my character's got some serious cake. But once the Morellatops was knocked out, we waited for it to tame. Once it did so, we brought it back to base, and I want to show off my Morellatops saddle collection so far. Keep in mind, we had to reset on day 54, so this is only the last 30 odd days. 
It's insane how many Morelitops out as you get, it's painful, but we put it on the Morelitops, at least we put one to good use. And for the rest of the day, I raised my Lightning Wyvern that I got a while ago, and I crafted Medbrews, because you always really need them on this map, especially with the heat, but mainly for what I have planned on day 100. Day 25, what were we doing? We were getting Black Pearls again, but there was a purpose this time. But first, we needed to get Polymer, and we got a lot of that. And this was the day we finally made all of our tech gear. We made tech gauntlets, tech shield, tech rifle, tech tapujira saddle, and a tech rex saddle. We were fully teched out with everything we could get on Scorched Earth. This was looking good. After crafting all that tech though and spending all this time doing it, I had to have a little play with it. It was awesome, riding around flying tech guns, using my tech gun on the floor, the tech punch, it's all so awesome. But enough of that, I went back to farming to make a cannon because I wanted a rock golem for day 100. Because, you know, something special's happening. On day 87, I started painting my armor and my, like, equipment. Over the next few days this may change because I couldn't really decide, I was just... I started to get involved in painting, just doing everything, and it turned out a bit random. And then I gave myself a little haircut with braids and a beard trim, because this whole time I've been looking like a hobo. And then I pulled out a painting canvas. Now, if you've watched Zany Zebra's video, don't expect any of his stuff. I just put my name down and the amount of subscribers I had at the time of recording this. And then I just added a little bit of detail to my dinos, like making Jaffa Cake's head white. Don't know why, just I had a lot of paint spare and I wanted to use it all. On day 88, I was super excited to get another Morelitops out of from this drill, but it disappeared. Sadly, I didn't get another Morelitops. <sighs> but later on, I did find a Rock Golem, and I took some shortcuts trying to tame it. Let's just say, don't take shortcuts, it wastes a lot of resources. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't take shortcuts. Ah, oh, that was so expensive to make. One of the best use for these tech charges is when you're encumbered, you can still rub with them quite slowly, but it's much better than doing the popcorn method. I'm gonna forget everything I said about shortcuts. I made a new cannon, placed it up on a hill, and I did the most genius design ever for a golem. I put out my tech racks, I put reinforcement behind it so it can't be pushed down, and I'm just a genius, okay? So maybe do take shortcuts sometimes. Burn! Oh, that's the first time I actually got to use my flamethrower. Not gonna lie, but Rocky's a badass. Like, he's a beast. He's got like 30k health, and he's a super low level. I just wanted to get a rock golem to make sure I had one before the end of the series. And he was a nice and easy tame with my genius plan. Day 90, I found this really good Tropioganthus saddle. You can't even get them on this map, and I know I didn't say that right, but again, the point is you can't get them on this map. Why did it give it to me? And later on, I guess the way this map got its name is really happening. It's literally scorching like it's red. You can't see anything. If my fortitude wasn't so high, I'd probably be dead by now. I added some war paint to Levi for what's going to happen in the coming days, and then for the rest of the day I just stocked up on ammo and repaired my armour, because this is going to be a big fight. The goal for day 91 was to farm a lot of metal which I did and a lot of crystal for the tech generator, but while farming crystal we found an old friend, he's a little level tapajira, but it's always nice to have an old friend with you, so I made sure to bring him back home with us. On day 92, I crafted the tech generator. It looks awesome and it is awesome because you don't need wires and it has a very wide radius, so it's really cool having it. I also had a tech dedicated storage where I'm going to keep my element. It's very unnecessary, but it looks cool and I wanted to build every tech thing I can before the end of 100 days. Speaking of building tech items, I also built a tech grenade later for the fight we're going to be having. Damn, the trim's coming through now though. But since I'm slowly running out of things to do, I thought I might as well do a painting to commemorate the reason why I'm actually here with over 5,000 subscribers doing these videos. Zany Zebra. Yeah, it's not going to be anything too special, just a slight recreation of his colour scheme on his channel. But then later on I decided I wanted to go tame a mantis, and this time obviously I used bug repellent so it's going to go nice and smoothly. 
All right, come on, buddy. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Oh my god. What were the chances of that? Okay, I was not expecting that at all. I guess I should have checked for death worms, but that was like the most perfect timing ever. Just walking up and it just jumped out. So I had to deal with that guy first. Yeah, I think that's the easiest team I've done in my life. I bang way too many death worms. I didn't think it would only need one. But where does the death worm go? Because it definitely can't eat something that big. Anyway, though, <laughs> I ran up to another one to try tame it. It didn't like that, but my one beasted through them and then later on I thought I might as well get another one so I can maybe breed them. Not that I really need to, it would just be cool to have a mantis army because their melee is pretty high. You can even give them swords. Bruh, no, oh why? Phylicolios, <laughs> they're so annoying. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. It just feels weird. I mean, they're, they're really powerful, they're, they're quite good mounts, they're very small and do high attack, but it just doesn't feel right. Although I was disturbed by these creatures, I turned one into the God of Destruction with two manticore swords. Still, something just doesn't sit right with me about these. It's like you stand on the insect and they have swords. So, although being weirded out by them, I decided to race another one and now I have three fully grown mantises and they're very disturbing. Please help me. I'm going to be for real with you guys. Day 94 to day 99 sucked. Nothing could happen. Didn't tame anything. Nothing just new or anything entertaining happened. Your guys' time is precious. So I'm just going to take you guys straight to day 100 because you deserve it for making it this far. And if you have, come on day 100 and tell me your favourite part. Day 100 has arrived. The big 100. Yes, we made it this far. But today's challenge, we will be taking on the Manticore with just Rocky, Levi, Trapezium, and of course, myself. This is going to be insane. Let's just get straight into it. I suit up in my armor. As you can see, I did change colors again. Let the carnage begin.
he beat the boss. Rocky's died though. This flag here is to remember those who fought and died in this battle, aka Rocky. But Rocky will always be in our hearts, RIP Rocky. This has been an absolute joy to make, I loved every bit of it, especially all the support from you guys. I've played so much Ark recently, so another game's next, but we will come back to Ark soon. Subscribe for tons more 100 Days videos to come.